I want to look at what's been uh, one of the biggest and most complicated media stories of the year. It's this groundbreaking and quite radical move by the federal government to force the digital giants to pay for the news content they circulate online. Here is the issue in a nutshell from the ABC. Journalism isn't cheap, but stopping news being cannibalised by online behemoths is now the hot scoop. It's time the tech titans were held to account. A mandatory code of conduct's coming to force the likes of Google and Facebook to pay for news content they pilfer from Australian media outlets. Now, this issue has been brewing for years, and a few years back, the ABC's Media Watch host, Paul Barry, seemed to be all on board for sharing the digital spoils. While these may be positive steps, or perhaps just PR, they don't solve the fundamental problem for the media industry, which is lack of money, and the fact that Google and Facebook are taking it away. As Nick Newman sums it up... Uh, so however it's done, I think we will see some shifts in the next year or so. I, I think the, the, the platforms are going to have to pay more directly or indirectly. We'll see if it leads to anything other than talk. And when the federal government pushed ahead with moves to force this issue earlier this year, the public broadcasters, ABC and SBS, were not only supportive, they wanted some of the action. They wanted to receive cash from the digital giants. But the communications minister soon put an end to this idea, pointing out this was about sharing advertising revenue, not supplementing taxpayer funding. So, I mean, there's also the issue of public broadcasting. Now, the bargaining arrangements when it comes to paying for this content, they won't be available to public broadcasters. The ABC, for one, is under financial pressure at the moment, as you know. Why would public broadcasters be excluded from this? But on the remuneration issue, the rationale is that the advertising-funded part of the media sector is under great pressure, and that's reducing the amount of public interest journalism. The funding for ABC and SBS has not been affected by the act activities of Facebook and Google on the digital platforms. In other words, nice try, but no bananas. Which brings us back to Paul Barry. Remember, he seemed to think sharing the digital mother load was a good idea. But now the ABC's been locked out, he seems to have gone cold on the idea. Putting aside the media's barracking, the move to slug the tech giants is not without criticism. As Harvard's Neiman Lab explained in June... Companies that have been out-competed in their core business of selling advertising are using their political heft to advocate a redistribution of wealth from the winners. Google says the proposed code is unworkable and carries enormous and unreasonable demands. It also argues it's the news media that needs Google, not the other way around. OK, so there you have it. In the blinking of an eye, Barry and Media Watch switch arguments, switch sides and line up with the multinational digital giants. So much for principles, such a company man.